Jack, you want to dive in? Yes, I can. I can give you my opinion because uh, I'm still under shock. I was split between 21 and 13. And because of the high proof of 13, I thought I was maybe dreaming. It feels like a hug from your grandmother. It's that warmth in your chest. The finish stays with you forever. I loved it. And I didn't expect to to like the 66 proof. So my winner here is 13. Lou, how are you doing? I'm actually kind of stunned because, Jack, you and I don't often agree, but I'm right there with you on this one. I also agree it came down to 21 and 13 for me because 21 is like the rye of maybe six, seven, eight years ago. It's good. It's It's got a, a flinty nose. It's got this great rye finish. But 13, it, it's the rye of the future. Tiffany. This was hard. This is my style. I love it. I love a lot of them for a lot of different reasons. The chocolate notes on 21 and the strawberry and just the Valentine's Day. Very romantic, very comfortable, almost too simple though. And I keep going back to six. Six is where it's at for me. Six, the black currant, more chocolate. There's that sugar that I want, the spice from the clove, the heat is there. It is balanced like I like. It's a day sipper um, and I like to day drink. 13. Jack, I don't, I, I don't, I don't understand. Lou, I don't, I don't get it. Sure, is it delicious? Yes. It's a bit absurd to be that hot. It, it's delicious. It would have been great if it was brought down just a tad more. I love a little, you know, wind up my skirt, but that's too much wind. That's a bit hot for me. Six for the win. I'm, I'm just going to say this, Tiffany. We all love Valentine's Days, but sometimes you like a little bit of danger in your coffee. <laughs> Okay, it's Monday. A little danger won't hurt. <laughs> Francesco, since you're uh, already here, what's up? I'm going with six. And I was debating between 21 and six, but I think six uh, is where my palate is right now. Max? Yeah, overall, great flight. So like Francesco, I was, I went back three or four times and retasted six and 21. That's where, where my top two, um, I would say, ultimately... It ended up being with 21. 21 was my winner. All right. Thank you so much. Mark? For me, it was between 21 and 13. I went back and tasted six because of the group. I like six. I'm at 21. 13 tasted like there was too much going on, not in the terms of complexity, but in manipulation. So I'm at 21. I really like this from Jump. It's got the rye, like caraway baked bread thing that I always look for. There was all this really cool elegance on the finish with something that's relatively high alcohol. It was really smooth on the finish to me. Perfect. Thank you. So it started for me between 13 and 21. Then I added water to 13 and it went completely left. So now it's between 6 and 21. And I think 21 is it for me. This is giving me that toffee chocolate, some spice that I need. Thank you so much. Noted. Louisville. I just want to say that, you know, 13 is incredibly puzzling. It has so much beauty and characteristic to it. I think Lou's right. This is the rye of the future. There's just an oak in there. Like there's just an over oak note in there. Sometimes when you're doing these things, um, your, your best course of a vote is like, which one do you keep wanting to taste? And it's 21. And it's that simple. Like 21 is my favorite in this fly. All right. Thank you. Susan? Um, I'm agreeing with Fred here, uh, as much as I always hate to do that, but I'm, I'm agreeing with Fred. And uh, I think there was just wood on the finish for 13. That was kind of a deal breaker for me. And I really liked 21. I thought it was the most complex of what we had on the table. Uh, it's 21 all day for me. Delicious. I did get down to 13, 21, like part of the crew here tonight. But 21 to me was broad, it was complex, it was delicious in the middle. The finish was awesome. And as someone said, I could keep going back to 21 over and over and over. All right. Clay, that leaves you. Yeah, so by my count, 21 is the winner. So I'm going to throw my vote with four because 
I really like a finished rye, and I thought they did a great job with this. Uh, it stands out, it's got some really great dried fruit notes, and it really well integrated with the kind of basic herbal qualities. I just want to show it some love. So put me down for uh, number four, and I'm not unhappy that 21 seems to be the winner.